right, guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we are currently at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, um, formerly known as Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, but whatever. Um, I went up for my first session, the track is really slick, and I was kind of being careful about the sound limit here since it's 92 dB day. Um, but anyway, I have my next session coming up in like five minutes, and so I'm just gonna put gas in the car and uh, roll out on track. I really wanna sub 40 today, but um, you never know, so I'll keep you updated.
Woo. All right, guys, that was a fun session. Um, got caught up behind that radical for a bit, but managed to get around him. Um, I went to 39.6, so next session's up right now. Just had lunch. Um, I'm gonna try for a 38, but if it's not possible, I'm just gonna start hooning around and uh, having fun. One of my buddies set up a 360 camera right in front, so enjoy that footage. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. guys well as you saw session got cut short again uh radical went off at the corkscrew so i just pit in um couldn't get past a 139 unfortunately i was actually struggling to go to get to a 39 to begin with but um i have one more session i may take a passenger out which if i do that there's no hope of going faster but honestly I kind of just want to have fun at this point. I'm done chasing my time. I met my goal, which is which is sub 40. I did that, so I'm happy. Now I might just start driving for fun, just not trying so hard. Um, the 139 lap though was sloppy. Like I just, I know it was sloppy. Uh, I made a bunch of mistakes that I didn't have to make. And I really do think there's a 38 in the car. So we'll see. I If there's no passenger next session, then you know I'm trying to get that 138 but track temp is up tires are a little more spanked so i'm uh not sure it can happen today but you never know um so that's pretty much it let me give you guys a little bit of an update on the car all right so since last event um i haven't really done too much to it i just did a bolt check uh, i swapped on my high boost wastegate so now it's running 12 pounds of boost or sorry probably more like 15 pounds um that, that equates to probably like 270 ish wheel um, let's see. That's about it. We're on AR1 still. Take off AR1s. Let me show you the tires. So AR1s do this weird thing where the inside of the tread just kind of like wears away. And then the outside has plenty of tread. So it's kind of hard for me to put power down. But I mean, we're working with it. Otherwise, we have a Laguna pipe which is, oh, well, that's not great now, is it? One of my welds broke off. It's like hanging on for deal life. I'm just gonna leave that and hope it doesn't fall off. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> let's put gas in the car. Um, inside's the same, nothing's changed in here. Um, new harness, but I think that was, that's been in there for a while at this point. So that's pretty much it. See you guys when I roll out for the next session.
so as you can see, last session also didn't go as planned, but um, I didn't get any improvement on time. Unfortunately, it just kind of is what it is. Um, this whole day was kind of like chaos in terms of getting a PB in. I, I managed to do like, okay, my second session out and then anything past that, there was just a lot of traffic. So that's gonna do it for today's Gold video. Fish. Thanks, Max. I've, I've been keeping this in his trailer for too long. So um, that's gonna do it for, for this video. I'm going to Sonoma next in two weeks, I think. So until then, that's going to be it. See you guys.